17-year-old Taylor Heintzelman. He was kidnapped, blindfolded, and shot along a dirt road in South Oklahoma City five years ago. One person is doing life for the crime, another is also in prison. But the man Taylor's family says was the mastermind behind it all got a deal today. The family told our Colleen Chen the system is broken and failed them. We're as angry as much water as there is in the, all the oceans combined and the depth of the sea. Taylor Heinzelman's mom, LaDonna, has been fighting since the day her son was murdered. It has not ended the way she hoped. This man, William Nelson, took a plea deal Friday, one the Heinzelman family did not approve of. Taylor died a violent death, and Nelson, he, he planned it. He brought the others in. He convinced them to do it. He discussed, discussed it with one man in particular. He uh, went to work the next day and, and point blank told him, my roommate won't be coming around anymore. I had him killed. I'm sorry for the Heinzelmans. I respect their position. David Brockman is an assistant district attorney in Cleveland County. He stands by the plea deal he offered Nelson. 15 years for accessory to first degree murder. I believe he's responsible for starting the ball rolling. I, I'm not prepared to say that he is actually responsible for the the actual murder. He wasn't there at the time, was not at the scene at all, and we believe that 15 years was appropriate in our professional opinion. It's a trick of time for LaDonna Heinzelman, who is very familiar. Sometimes it just seems like yesterday. You know, you just relive it over and over and over. Especially when it comes to sentencing. 15 years is probably only two or three, maybe four at the most. And he'll be back on the streets out with everybody's kids. That's because Nelson will get 14 months credit for time already served. And since his charge is not a violent crime, he can qualify for parole before serving 85% of his sentence. The Heinzelmans know it was the same story with Michael Amami who helped abduct Taylor. Mr. Imami got 10 years. I don't think he's been gone two years yet, and he comes up for parole the first part of September. It's upsetting to know that that's all the prosecutors valued my son's life, was a few years, five or less. I know that the Heinzelmans wanted more. We did what we believe is the right thing. Colleen Chen, News 9. And the Heinzelmen say their victims' rights were violated. They are particularly angry that Nelson's sentence came before they gave their victims' impact statement. William Nelson's trial was supposed to start.